What if your door unlocks securely with a secret passcode and instantly notify you on your phone when someone tries the wrong password? In this project, we are building a smart door lock system using USP32, a keypad, a servo motor, and the Blink IoT platform. It's not just smart, it's also connected, secure, and real time. To build this project, you will need one ESP32 development board, one 4x4 keypad, one servo motor, one buzzer, jumper wets, breadboard, micro USB cable, a smartphone with the Blink app installed. Let's wire up the sensor to the USB32. Check the breadboard as well. First, we will power the breadboard, connect the 3.3 volt pin of ESP to the positive power rail of the breadboard, and GND of ESP to the negative rail of the breadboard. Insert the buzzer on the breadboard. Connect the positive pin of the buzzer to D26 on ESP board. Connect the negative pin of the buzzer to the negative ground rail of the breadboard. Now take the servo motor, insert jumper wires in it, connects its ground wire to the negative ground rail of the breadboard, connects its red wire to the positive power rail of the breadboard. Connect the orange wire to D25 on the ESP board. At last, we will connect the 4x4 keypad. Insert jumper wires in it. Connect row pins to GPIOs 18, 19, 21 and 22, one by one in proper sequence. Now connect the column pins to GPIOs 13, 12, 14 and 27. Now double check your connection according to the circuit diagram before powering the circuit. Now let's set up the Blink app for the first time. Step 1. Open your browser and go to Blink.cloud. Step 2. Register or login. If you are new, click sign up, enter your email and password and verify your email. If you already have an account, just log in. Step 3. Go to the developer zone. Click on developer mode from the left sidebar and then click templates. Step 4. Create a new template. Click add new template and enter the following. Name, door unlock, hardware, select ESP32 and then click create. Step 5. Set up notification events. Go to the events tab inside your template and click add new event. Create the first event. Event name, wrong underscore attempt, description, wrong password, unknown detected. Enable send push notification, enable notify every time, click create. Now create the second event. Event name here, door underscore unlock, description, door unlock via correct password, enable the same notification options and click create. Step 6, save it, now go to devices, click add new device, choose from template, select your door unlock template, name your device and click create. Step 7, copy your blink credentials, now you will get three things. Hash define blink underscore template underscore id, your template id. Hash define blink underscore template underscore name, which is a door unlock. Hash define blink underscore auth underscore token, your auth token. Copy this. We will have to paste this into our Arduino code. Now download the code and the library files given in the description below. Open the code and library files if you already downloaded the Arduino ID. Otherwise, download the Arduino ID first. These are the credentials from Blink IoT platform. Replace your template ID and others with actual values from your Blink project. This allows debug prints from Blink to be shown in the serial monitor. Include required libraries. Wi-Fi.h to connect ESP32 to Wi-Fi. Blink simple ESP32.h. Blink library to communicate with the app. Keypad.h to read keypad input. ESP32 servo.h required for servo control on ESP32 boards. Replace with your actual Wi-Fi SSID and password. Servo motor is connected to GPIO 25. Buzzer is connected to GPIO 26. This object will control the servo motor. A 4x4 matrix keypad mapping and wiring. Connect as per the defined GPIO spin. Use default part was is 1234. User input will be collected in the input string. In setup function, initialize serial monitor, Wi-Fi and blink set spin modes. Sets servo at lock position 0 degree. Buzzer ready. The loop functions. Continuously check for keypad input. Hash key submits input for verification. Star key clears input. Other keys append to input. Now this function moves servo gradually from smooth locking or unlocking effect. Now if password matches, opens door, servo to 90 degree, sends event to blink, wait 5 seconds and then locks. Now if wrong, buzzer alert, event sent to blink and that's it. Now we will upload this code to the USB32. Plug your USB32 into the computer using the USB cable. Select the correct board, USB32 dev module. Then go to the tools. Select the port where USB32 is connected. Make sure to replace the Blink credential here and Wi-Fi name and its password here. 
Now click the upload button the right facing arrow. Now if you see connecting and the dots appear just hold down the boot button until it starts uploading. Once uploaded open the serial monitor and set the baud rate to 115 to 00. Now open the Blink IoT app on your smartphone if you have one. Otherwise download Blink to IoT app. Go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Search Blink IoT and install the app. Login using the same email and password you used on your Blink console on the laptop. Open the app and go to the Devices tab. You will see the same device you created on your laptop. Tap in your Door Unlock device. You will see no controls but don't worry, we are only using even notification in this project. Make sure push notifications are enabled for the Blink app in your phone settings. Here how the Smart Door Lock functions. The ESP32 constantly checks the keypad for user input. When someone enters digit and presses hash, it compares the entered password with the stored one that is 1234. If the password is correct, the server motor turns 90 degree, door unlocks, door unlock event is sent to Blink and you get a push notification on your phone. Door unlocked via correct password. After 5 seconds of being unlocked, the door locks again automatically. Now if the password is wrong, then the buzzer buzzes for 1 second, wrong attempt event is sent to Blink, you get an alert, wrong password unknown detected and the door remains closed. Now, if you like this project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such exciting DIY tech with reward.